important. I heard people talking about what they want, like as far as demands. Like, um, we want to an apology, and we want dialogue, and we want an explanation. And I think that we should we should remind ourselves that that falls really far short of what is needed here. Like, what's needed is accountability. And for people who are brutalized, and for people who have been sexually harassed by by people with guns, badges and the authority that comes along with them, for people that have been traumatized like that to be told, hey, we'll explain, you know, we'll make an excuse, we'll apologize. That's not sufficient. The people that did the specific acts, the people that shot, you know, that shot indiscriminately into crowds of people should be held accountable. Individual names are important. Individual cops need to be identified and called out and held accountable. And our demands need to be that they be fired that they not have the authority to do that again in the future. And so, you know, this is just a complaint process. It's just the beginning. After these complaints are handled, we need to keep watching what they do with these complaints. Are these cops going to be held accountable? We need as a community to follow up with the UC administration because that's where these complaints are going to go and say, hey, what happened with Officer Stephen Owen, who sexually harassed my friend? Hey, what happened with Officer Ruiz, who yanked the shirt off of my friend? What happened with this officer who shot my friend and, and, and basically made it so he can't walk for a week? You know, what happened to these officers? What did you do to discipline them and hold those people accountable? And if they, they don't produce the justice that we want, we go to lawyers, we go to the courts, and we sue the UC. It's a long process and this is just the beginning, so people need to commit to getting accountability and not settling for explanations and not settling for apologies. Let's settle for change. Yeah.